Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question. Please explain the testing principle. Testing is context dependent. Let's begin. Testing is context dependent is the sixth principle defined in ISTQB. And as with most of the principles, it sounds simple. But in fact, it is common to be ignored by testers. Let's learn the consequences of ignoring it. And we'll start with the ISTQB explanation. If you don't know what is ISTQB, the link to its website will be provided in the materials for the lecture. According to the ISTQB, testing is done differently in different contexts. And the best way to explain it is with examples. In previous videos, we discussed that testers who know and take advantage of the testing principles set achievable goals and realistic objectives, and provided examples of those goals. The case is, the goals are not universal. You can't set the same goals for all projects. Let's say you work on the B2B mobile app in the agile methodology called Scrum, and the project culture is informal, it is a startup with a couple of hundreds of clients. The price of a mistake on such project is not high. Even if some bugs gets into the production environment and will result in a failure for the end user, the company will be able to release a hotfix the very next day. The company does not spend a lot of time on testing and balances between risks and price. Therefore, the requirements for testing are not high. But if you work for safety critical medical tech giant in a waterfall manner, most likely your goals will be slightly different. Nearly everything should be tested. No hotfix won't help to deal with the consequences of missing the failure of the end users of that kind of project. It is better to illustrate with the example of testers who don't know the testing principles, set unattainable goals and unrealistic objectives. Let's say you work on the same B2B mobile app in the Agile methodology called Scrum, but you set the goals applicable for the safety-critical medical tech giant project. The best example is documentation. On some startup projects, documentation is bad. It's a luck if there is any documentation. So testers start complaining and say that they can't test it in this way, that they need requirements. And even if they get requirements, then they can complain that requirements are not testable. The consequences of such behavior are almost always the same. Same works for the safety critical medical tech giant project. You can't apply the same approach as you apply to the B2B mobile app with 1000 users. Let's say you can't use only exploratory testing. The results of that exploration could be way different than you expect. You can find 100 bugs, but miss one and that's all. And the fact that you will have to look for a new job is far from the worst thing that can happen. That's all that we wanted to discuss in the scope of the testing is context-dependent principle. You can pause the video and read the ISTQB explanation one more time. In the next video, we're going to discuss the last testing principle. Hope to see you there. And that's our answer to the question. Please explain the testing principle. Testing is context-dependent.